Today's DIY is inspired by this ASOS Mega Tassel Clutch. I searched high and low for the perfect clutch, and then I came across this pencil pouch at Target. It's also a wristlet and it's super affordable. First, I'm going to take off this pencil pouch label because we won't be needing it. I'll just take some scissors and carefully snip the ties. I picked up six yards of this super cute tassel fringe at my local craft store. Now, I only ended up using around four yards for this project, but I find it's better to be safe than sorry. I'm sure I'll find another project to use the extra on, and I absolutely love tassels. I mean, they're super classic. The pouch is made of a pretty sturdy material and it's lined with fabric inside. I'll use this decorative gritting on the back as my guide for gluing my fringes. I decided to go two rows deep on the grid to keep the tassels uniform. As you can see, I played around with lining up my first row across the bottom. I'm using a straight pin to start off my fringe and hold it in place. You may also notice that the end of my fringe has a piece of tape around it. In the craft store, they take the end of the fringe to keep it from unraveling as it was cut from a bolt of fringe. To adhere my tassels to the bag, I'm going to be using fabric tack. This stuff is so awesome for bonding. I'll squeeze out some glue on the second row of the grid and begin to apply a little pressure to the fringe to make sure it's in contact with the glue. You'll probably notice that fabric tech bonds quickly and the grid makes it so easy to keep everything neat. I finish my first row and I turn my bag over and I'll complete the same step on the other side. Don't forget, make sure you're gluing two rows deep. You're gonna see me shake these tassels like the whole video because that's just how obsessed I am with them. Again, apply your glue, but not too much just enough to make sure you have a tight bond. I now have two rows of tassels, one on each side of the clutch. Now I'm gonna wrap the tassels around to the other side of the bag. I'm using the grids to make sure that I go up two rows deep. Now I'll remove that pin you see before I glue down my second row. You'll continue to use the same technique as you wrap and glue your fringe around your clutch. I'm back and as you can see, I'm all glued up, but one of the good things about this glue is that it dries stringy. I'm a little over halfway up my bag and I have just been repeating the pattern. It's filling up nicely. Now that I've reached the top of one side of the bag, I'm going to prepare to glue my last row. I'm following the natural trim of the bag and I'm gluing my fringe up against the seam. I'll dab some glue on the edge of the bag to secure the fringe.
completed both sides of fringe, I'll secure the end to the bag with another dab of glue. I'll grab my fabric scissors and I'll snip off the excess fringe. completed tassel clutch. I can't wait to style it. It's sure to be a conversation piece. And if you're anything like me and you hate missing out on the fashion find, you know that sometimes you just have to do it yourself. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and go follow me on Instagram.